So, you've already got Windows 11, but it's probably feeling a little cluttered. Let's fix that. First, connect to your Wi-Fi. Then, we're going to Chris Titus's GitHub page, grabbing the PowerShell command and running it to launch WinUtil. Once it's open and you've switched to dark mode, let's head over to the Tweaks tab. For a great starting point, just select one of the recommended profiles. Like standard, this applies a bunch of common sense fixes and from here you can customize it. For example, I will disable hibernation, debloat edge, you can hover over any of these options for a description or click the question mark next to them to get even more details on the github page. On the right you have some handy toggles for things like enabling dark mode or showing file extensions which is super convenient. Once you've made your selections just click run tweaks and let it work its magic. The config tab has some advanced shortcuts. I'm not touching it but it's there if you are a power user. The updates tab is really useful though. You can force Windows 10 to only install security updates which is what I recommend or disable them entirely. Now we need to does a fantastic job, but to take our debloating to the next level, we need one more tool, Revo Uninstaller. The free version is all you need. When you open Revo, you might not see much on the main page if you used our clean install method, but for those who didn't go through that, you might see a lot of stuff here worth uninstalling. For the lean version of Windows 11, the real treasure is in the Windows Apps tab. Ah, there we go. Look at this stuff. Game bar, Xbox identity provider, things I know for a fact I'll never use on this machine. To uninstall something, just click on it and hit the uninstall button. Button. Revo will ask you if you want to create a system restore point. Just do it. Click continue, let it run, and then click scan. This is what makes Revo so powerful. It hunts down all the leftover registry files and folders associated with that app. Select all the registry items it finds and delete them. Do the same for any leftover files and folders it finds. This is the difference between just taking out the trash and actually cleaning the kitchen. No leftovers.